Hello world. Uh, welcome everyone. I think this should work. Uh, so yeah, uh, welcome. So I've decided to do this uh, live streaming to do to cover various topics in like coding uh, related to memgraph and uh, a bunch of stuff uh, related to open source and uh, doing various various projects. Uh, so uh, at today, uh, the main goal is to have to cover basic uh, uh, basic stuff related to importing data and uh, querying memgraph, uh, and maybe to build a simple application in Python. Uh, so, uh, in general, I think this is going to take uh, between one hour and maybe maybe two hours. We'll see. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. And uh, yeah, uh, please uh, post your questions in the in the chat if you have one, and any suggestions and feedback uh, is is welcome. Uh, so yeah, without uh, further ado, I'm going to start. Uh, hopefully, you can see uh, my screen now. So uh, to start, I'm just gonna download Memgraph and basically install install it, and then and then run an instance. Uh, so. In order to do that, let's go to the Memgraph uh, web page and download uh, download uh, the the binary. Uh, so on the web page, you can see a bunch of uh, a bunch of binaries. But uh, in this video, I'm going to focus only on on Docker. Uh, I'm going to cover others in in the following uh, streams. Uh, so uh, let's click Docker. Yeah, it's going. It's downloading. And since it's a bit bigger, I'm gonna also download. Uh, I'm gonna also download the the Memgraph lab, which is uh, which is user interface for interacting with the uh, with Memgraph. It is basically a super simple interface to issue a query and uh, uh, run debug queries and and similar. Uh, so I'll also start to download that. So while this is downloading, we have some we have some comments. So I'll try to answer that. Hello, uh, hello. So great. Uh, uh, it seems that everything is up and running, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, Mangrove Lab is downloaded. So let's let's install it. Uh, first, and then we're gonna install Memgraph when the downloads finish. So, uh, in order to install Memgraph Lab, uh, I'm gonna do plain, simple uh, install of of. So, I'm on the on a Ubuntu uh, twenty o four. So, it's a Debian based system. So, we downloaded the Debian package, dpkg uh, minus i, and uh, uh, that's in the downloads folder. Downloads folder map lab and yeah I'm missing sudo. So uh memgraph lab is is installing uh which is which is great so yeah it's done uh and also uh, let's install let's let's load the memgraph uh, docker image so uh, so uh, a little bit of uh of stuff related to Docker first. Uh, usually, uh, so in, uh, Docker is already installed on on the machine. So I'll try to uh, issue some basic uh, Docker commands. Uh, in in this case here, uh, I'm getting getting an error uh, related to to the root access to 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 doc for Docker. So basically, it's you solve that just by running sudo Docker, but uh, you can also add uh, a user, your user to uh, to the Docker group, and uh, that will solve the solve the issues, and it, it, you won't have to run uh, sudo Docker every single time. Uh, so I'll quickly do that. Uh, so uh, groups, if I run this, uh, so Memgraph user is not in the in in the uh, Docker group. So I'll run sudo. Uh, uh, MG is uh, is my user, so Docker, and uh, 
it's not that command does not work immediately so you have to log into that group and that's done by uh, by issuing this command uh, which basically does uh, should should register that as a docker ps yeah and uh, it works now so i can run docker without sudo anymore and this this is usually because there there is a bunch of uh, during the video i will have a bunch of interactions with docker so that's going to be a bit easier even though like from the security standpoint is not the best because basically the 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 you have the whole root access but yeah that's that's okay for now so uh uh, let's just so since we downloaded the memgraph uh, memgraph image, uh, we have to load it, and that's done by uh, running docker load minus uh, ea and running uh, download memgraph. Uh, so that that will uh, load the uh, memgraph docker image, and uh, and yeah, basically we got two uh, two tags. Let's say. For the image, one is uh, the ver the actual version of of Memgraph and the latest tag uh, as well. Uh, so um, so in order so that's just uh, that was just installing and uh, and uh, loading the Docker Memgraph Docker image. Uh, but in order to run Memgraph, uh, there has to be there has to, you have to run Docker Docker run command um, and. Uh, Usually, I like to with, with Docker. I like to put uh, minus minus rm here because uh, as soon as the container is uh, as soon as the container exits, all the container stuff is going to be automatically deleted, so you don't leave uh, garbage on the system. So it's a convenient way to 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 play around with uh, Docker containers. Uh, and uh, also, uh, we need to run uh, we need to expose uh, ports because. Docker container is is a is an isolation for the process, and uh, you have to say uh, which ports you have to access. Uh, and uh, to do that, uh, you just add p minus p flag and seven six eight seven, which is port on the host, and seven six eight seven, which is internal default port of Memgraph Bolt server. Uh, so uh, and then we can just run Memgraph add Memgraph here. We, that basically means that basically means uh, Docker Docker image, which is called Memgraph, and it will take by default the latest uh, the latest image. Uh, so if I issue this, so yeah, uh, Memgraph here is uh, successfully started, and uh, can close here. Uh, so yeah, uh, and now Memgraph Memgraph is uh, up and running, and um, to ver verify. Uh, I'll click quickly open Memgraph Lab uh, to to connect. So actually, I can do that in full screen. So uh, if I click here, yeah, it it connects to the to the database instance, which is which is fine. Uh, for now, uh, I'll just go back quickly. Uh, I'll just go back quickly here, uh, just to maybe to explain a bit about uh, uh, memgraph and uh, running flags so in addition to just running memgraph you can also uh, add here minus minus help uh, which which will basically uh, pass this minus minus flag command to the memgraph process inside docker and it will print all memgraph uh, runtime flags uh, so let me expand this a bit and if i do this so uh so we don't have so memgraph doesn't have many flags at this point uh let's just go quickly uh quickly through them uh so this flag here the first one uh, means that basically what the same uh as it says so also log uh, log to standard error uh then uh, all these flags related to uh which are prefixed with bolt uh means are related to the bolt server bolt is a binary protocol to communicate with the database instance uh, so you can specify the the address where from which you can connect to memgraph you can specify the ssl uh, file ssl related files number of workers these are internal threads to deal with the 
to, to process the connections, uh, then the port and the server name that uh, is returned to the client, and, uh, and yeah, then the data directory is uh, the folder on the system where uh, data is stored uh, in in case of any of any failures. Uh, flag file, which is uh, also you can provide these flags through a, through a file and persist them, and then uh, then use it use them on another on another run, and then help, and then a couple of flags related to logging. So uh, default the uh, the flag to to the to the log file, mm. memory world warning thresh, thresh, threshold. So, if memgraph is uh, running out of memory, uh, it will start uh, uh, writing that into the logs, so that you are aware of that. Uh, and also a bunch of other other flags related to query execution. So timeouts and uh, also query modules directory. So uh, in uh, a couple of a couple of uh, moments, I will uh, also cover query modules uh, extensively. So uh, this uh, flag here is saying uh, where the logs are, where the modules are located. Uh, then, uh, then the cache, uh, cache TTL, and then uh, uh, some threshold, standard error threshold, uh, and then a couple of uh, flags related to the storage. Uh, basically, uh, there is an option to disable properties uh, on edges, so to save some memory if you don't need the uh, properties on edges, uh, and also to recover data if in the case of uh, system failure uh, on, st on startup. Uh, then uh, uh, snapshot interval saying uh, how fast, how quickly, how, f how frequent uh, you want to uh, run the, the get the snapshot because Memograph is also creating these snapshots of the entire data set uh, on disk. So this specifies how how frequent they will be created. Uh, then uh, uh, then do we want to do snapshot on exit? If Memograph uh, exits, uh, it will also create uh, an another snapshot. Uh, do we enable write ahead logs because we also have uh, a more granular way of doing uh, durability, which are which is called uh, write head log, and uh, by setting this flag to, to true, it it's enabled. Uh, we can also flush uh, uh, these uh, write head logs every n transactions. Uh, basically, there by doing by changing this parameter, you are controlling. Uh, you have a trade-off between like speed of speed of uh, persistence and speed of queries and uh, and uh, and speed of execution so uh right head log file size so this is a stand like a like a size of of these files because there are many of them so each file is uh, is that in size and telemetry enabled and uh, and version yeah uh of, of the actual version of, of Memgraph uh, in terms of the build. So it was quickly, quickly uh, overview of the flags. Uh, so I'll go back to, to, to querying Memgraph and uh, playing around with it. Uh, so I'll close this for now. Uh, and yeah, uh, so let's start with Memgraph lab, let's say, uh, because that's the most easiest way to to issue some queries. Uh, so it's a just a, it's just a default connection. Ah, uh, I have to actually run Memgraph because I close it. Uh, so uh, let me repeat that quickly. Uh, so. Uh, uh actually okay uh that it actually didn't persist uh, my uh -huh. so okay let's ignore that for now uh okay uh let's go back let's go to the lab uh 
if I connect, yeah, uh, it's it's connected now. And uh, so let's just try to ex to issue some basic queries. Uh, so initially, when Mangrove Lab is started, uh, it offers a simple simple set of queries, super basic uh, graph. So I'm gonna run this. Uh, and uh, yeah, this query created a couple of nodes and edges in the in the database. And uh, yeah, by running this query here, uh, I'm gonna get all of them back and uh, visualized here nicely. So uh, this is a super simple graph with people and connections between them. Um, and this is a cipher query, uh, uh, which is which has these basic building blocks, uh, match, return, and limit. And also uh, this here, uh, which is called uh, patterns. So these patterns represents uh, uh, edges and traversals, tr tr like paths through the through the graph. And uh, they like, look like an ASCII art and are really convenient to, to write, uh, to write them. So uh, yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, I can just quickly click through the lab. So in addition to uh, to the graph view, you can also see uh, data view, which is more which is tabular view of, of the same of the same data. Uh, so you can expand here and uh, see the properties of the uh, of each node and also edges. But edges uh, in this case don't have any any properties. Uh, uh, summary tab uh, tells you a bit more about the query execution, like parsing time, planning time, and the standard database stuff. Um, and also uh, debug tab, which is uh, more oriented towards uh, uh, seeing what is going on exactly with the execution. So if I click here, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get uh, the operator tree or operator or, or plan of of execution. Uh, so each query is transformed into that uh, into that set of operators uh, in order to be executed and uh, executed efficiently against the data set. Uh, so also uh, it, here it's also available the profile. So profile is a bit uh, uh, more advanced because it it tells uh, how much time each operator spend uh, on on execution. So if uh, you have a query and it it runs uh, unexpectedly, then you can see uh, what exactly is going on and how how much each operator is taking to to execute. Uh, that's uh, mainly it. You can also download data and uh, also I forgot to mention. So so here uh, it's a huge uh, uh, styling uh, let's say feature. Uh, that uh, allows you to completely like change the style of the whole uh, graph vis visualization. Mm, but uh, yeah, it's a super 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 complex, and it has a bunch of stuff inside. So because it's a uh, it's very configurable, and uh, you can basically write your own program inside here. Um, I'll got got back to that uh, on the documentation. For now, I'll just uh, close this. Uh, but yeah, you can here change the style uh, a lot. Uh, here are some basic stuff uh, uh, like favorite queries and uh, and uh, hi query history, uh, and also here is a graph schema, uh, which tells you uh, basic uh, schema of the of the data set. So here, as you can see, uh, each node uh, has a. Th there are nodes with different labels, uh, employer label, student label, and a label that has student and employer, uh, a node that has student and employer employer label. And also between all of them are friends, friend of relationships. Uh, okay, so that was that was lab. Uh, I'll probably get back to it uh, later. Uh, this was super quick uh, overview. Uh, so uh, I'll now uh go uh a bit a bit what do i do now uh yeah i'm uh, uh, i will go back uh, i'll go and uh, showcase the mg console because you can also query and import data uh through the terminal which is a bit more efficient than doing uh, mem just memgraph lab 
Uh, so uh, I'll have to uh, close this because I'm gonna do a bit more advanced stuff uh, now. So I'm gonna open Tmux. Tmux is basically a, a program that enables you multiple uh, terminals and uh, switching between them. Uh, it's a very convenient tool to, to use in general. So um, I click quickly create a uh, a window for uh, for my memgraph instance uh, memgraph so I'll here run memgraph it seems that my uh, docker doesn't work as expected yeah but anyways uh -huh. I think I have to log out and log in uh, but let's ignore this for now uh, we don't need this. Uh, memgraph. So, okay, memgraph is back again. Uh, so, let's just uh, let's just go back and uh, so here you can download memgraph and. Uh, and memgraph lab but uh, that's uh, that's not the only way of uh, of interacting with memgraph we can also go uh, to our to memgraph uh, open source uh, repositories uh, with the clients and consoles so i'm gonna go to github now and uh, on github uh, you, there is mg console repository which is basically the latest tool to uh, to querying memgraph from the from the terminal, so I'm gonna install that. Uh, uh, yep. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Uh, so let me. I'll I'll do uh, all these uh, installs. I'll do from from source because it's a bit uh, it's a bit it's it's a bit more consistent in general. So uh, it, and more controllable. And just to showcase that as well, uh, mm, so I'm gonna download this. Uh, so here, let's call this MG console, uh, and I'm I'm gonna go to code folder which is empty currently. So git clone MG console, and yeah. Uh, so since uh, member MG console is using. Uh, I'm gonna now go a bit into the rabbit hole. So, MG console is using uh, uh, MG, MG client. I also have to compile that first. So, uh, let me open another one. And here, let's quickly quickly take MG client. So, clone MG client. Up, oh, wrong. So okay, and uh, MG console client, but I also have to be careful because uh, MG console is not ported yet to the latest version of MG, MG client. So I have to take uh, the recent version. So uh, if I open the readme file here, uh, um, that's uh, if I open the readme file of MG console. So it says it says mg client 1.0 uh and I'm going to do that right now so let me open this so here I'm going to go code mg client and uh, basically it tag you can see a, a couple of versions of mg client so I'm going to checkout or git checkout but I I have an alias which is co so we'll do the first just to just to be to be exact so git checkout v1.00 so that will take the that will check out the 
version 1.0 of MG client and, uh, and yeah uh, to in order to compile uh, MG client you only need CMake and uh, GCC uh, uh, so so these are actually these are these are These are the instructions for Linux since I'm on Linux. I'm gonna do video videos on for other pl platforms as well, but uh, this time only on Linux. So, uh, in order to compile, we need CMake. We have the CMake uh, version 3.16, which is fine, and uh, also GCC version is 9.3. Um, in or if you have to install it, uh, it's pretty simple. So it's sudo apt get apt install gcc and cmake. So, but since they are already installed, it's all fine. So uh, let's finally compile an mg client. Uh, uh, I'm gonna create uh, the build uh, the build folder, and if I go there, uh, so it's fine. Uh, so first. Uh, with CMake, uh, the project has to be configured for for building. So CMake is going to create a make file on on Linux. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, and uh, yep, it's it exited quickly, uh, successfully. And uh, here is the make file. And uh, yeah, so uh, here on this machine, I can run make, but a bit quicker, even though it's a super fast compile. Uh, so I'll just go here and run htop. So uh, I have the wealth virtual course, uh, and I'm gonna tell that uh, to to make. So if I put here the wealth, it will use as twelve threads to or process. I'm not sure to compile uh, to compile uh, uh, the code. So. It, yeah, uh, it's already done. So, mg client is compiled at this point, and it has there are uh, static library and dynamic library which will be used by mg console. So, um, I also I have them local here, and I'll now I will install them by running sudo make install, uh, and yes, they are. Uh, exported and installed into these uh, these two folders and okay so uh, at this stage uh, mg client is is ready so I will go back to mg console and uh, at this point uh, I only have to install this this here but mg console has a bit more uh, dependencies uh, so uh, the same as almost the same as mg client plus uh, mg client and a lib a read line. So that library uh, gives you the ability to have the history and uh, and uh, some basic uh, auto completion. Uh, but yeah, it's not uh, required. Uh, but I think I have that installed already on my machine. So uh, I'll skip that uh, uh, at this point. So I'm gonna do basically the same here. Uh, console uh, mkdr build uh, and at this point I can also run this here and uh, and also make so yeah it's a uh, yeah I forgot to run uh, multi multi threadly but uh, still it's going to finish fairly quickly uh, Plus, I mean, it has it has also flags and uh, a bit more, but yeah, uh, it's done. So I can also install it by running sudo make uh, install uh, again password. So yeah, so at this point I have uh, mg console also installed on on a system. So uh, since I have memgraph uh, available here, uh, I'll just uh, run mg console here uh, on the bottom screen maybe I can somehow move that somewhere but yeah I think it's fine so uh, I'll execute 
uh, this and it says that it's connected to, to memgraph uh, which is amazing so i'm gonna run some basic queries just to validate so uh, i think i have restarted memgraph so i think i don't have anything inside memgraph now but let's check so uh, i will explain basic of these basic basic uh, stuff with these uh, cipher queries uh but yeah we I, i'm gonna probably have a video about only that uh in the future uh but for now match is very simple clause that just tells you that uh, everything you want to everything you specified after the match will be somehow fetched from the from the database so at this point uh with with saying uh uh, we're saying this uh, node n stands for for a node and uh, uh, the query engine will trying to find all nodes on, in the database and uh, store them in that symbol uh, in the query and then uh, nodes will be returned one one by one and uh, in in subsequent clauses you can access uh data on that no on these nodes and uh doing uh, some other stuff but match and basically matches all the nodes uh in the database and just and then we just want to to return them uh by and we can say that uh, we can specify that but putting the return clause and and n symbol so uh that will return one by one node from from a database uh but yeah, uh, I don't have anything in the database now, so I'm gonna create uh, a simple node that has, I don't know, label person uh, and the name John. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's execute only this. So, I mean, the result set, set is empty, but actually we have uh, that John in the, in the database. Uh, so, that's about that's that's a basic usage of mg console um we, there is also a possibility uh, to run queries outside of mg console uh, uh, interface uh, outside the the the, the prompt uh, so for example you can quickly do that by uh, issuing a query like a, a command like this so we can repeat basically match and return count n so this query will count all the nodes uh, in the database and we can just pipe that to mg console by piping that it will execute uh, the query against the database and uh, print print the result uh, so this is very convenient when uh, you have to import data so I, i'm gonna come to that a bit later you can also do cat instead of echo here uh in front so uh, uh maybe so maybe to explain a bit uh more so mg console uh also has has some flags uh but most of them are fairly simple uh maybe the most useful one is uh output format so uh mg console is uh, when you're running this query it returns uh, some pretty printed format uh, some some pretty table uh, but that that that's not very useful for uh, i mean there has to be uh, something that will parse that output uh, from the program st standpoint so instead of having that format you can uh, specify here output format uh, csv and that will return uh, uh, data data in the CSV format, which is much more convenient for um, executing uh, executing uh, queries and then parsing the data. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Um, what else? So mm, that's fine for now. Uh, maybe just to touch upon the queries and the documentation because for all of that there is a documentation on the web so i'll quickly jump there uh, so you can find more details about all this under uh, docs.memgraph.com so uh, 
this is a uh, documentation where you can uh, get all the all the details about uh, how to start memographing and how to play around. So, uh, but yeah, my idea here was to uh, quickly showcase uh, Cypher. Uh, so here are the the explanations for what I what I just uh, executed. So uh, running uh, basic match queries that will get paid, get data out of the database. Uh, more advanced stuff when it comes to uh, these patterns. So instead of uh, specifying the exact number of nodes, you can have these uh, variable these asterisks, which uh, basically means variable length uh, paths and expansion. So that will traverse a graph and uh, with multiple edges and uh, go deeper in the in the graph structure uh, there could be i don't know uh, these uh, limits on 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 the expansions and stuff like that also after the match uh, there there can be a where which is basically a filtering of of these results that are matched uh, uh, by the match clause also regular expressions, but uh, I won't go into that many details. So uh, here are we, we basically uh, recently uh, documentation was a bit refreshed. So here you can find all these uh, examples and uh, details on how to query and writing data and uh, what fun functions do you have inside uh, inside Memgraph. Uh, there are plenty of them. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, okay. So, uh, 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 what's next? Uh, I'm a bit, yeah, it's already 30 minutes. Uh, any comment? Uh, actually, no, just hellos, which is fine, which is amazing. Uh, okay, uh, let me do, uh, maybe going back to client stuff uh, and uh, putting some 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 a little bit bigger data inside memgraph so uh, we also have on on memgraph web page there is block section so i'll just take one example here uh, for now uh, which is basically a routing planning application. So there is a data set with the European cities and uh, countries. And uh, basically the, the memgraph can return and can be used to analyze uh, which route to take when you want to travel or, or, or doing sim or like passing the goods and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, here, like the whole blog post explains uh, how to do that. Uh, but I'll do a slightly different thing with uh, MG console. Uh, so here you can find uh, uh, some queries. So these are queries uh, to create country nodes and uh, also to create city nodes. And uh, the last one are edges with roads. So this dataset is a bit bigger, so it's the whole uh, the whole thing is uh, split into multiple files, but it they can be that there can be one file uh, with all of that. Uh, so uh, let me so in in because the dataset is a bit bigger, uh, it's wise to create in some indexes. Uh, so I'm gonna do that by by copying this. Uh, so yeah, let's me let me just uh, clear the database, even though that's easier to do. So uh, okay, that's uh, so here. It's another command that does uh, so dump database as it as it says uh, exports all data um, from the database in a format which is convenient to recreate the, the entire data set. Uh, but yeah, here we have one node, so I'm gonna delete that. And uh, that's done by uh, running match n, which basically means give me all nodes, and then detach 
delete delete n. Uh, detach delete is required here because uh, of course there can if you have only delete that will only delete a, a, a node and if node has some edges that query will return error because edges would otherwise still be inaccessible and uh, would float around uh, by saying detach delete delete uh, query engine will delete all the, all the nodes and also all the edges uh, that are attached to these nodes uh, so this is now uh, executed and a return count n uh, so it should return zero because the node one node was deleted so uh, let's go back here uh, ah, I want to execute this so uh, let's do this create index uh, on the name yeah maybe I can explain the index for the since this is super basic video so I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain uh, indexes as well so uh, in order to create uh, uh, in order to update data fast um, it's convenient to have indexes uh, because then query engine can quickly fetch data from the underlying storage so in this case we are creating an index on the label country and property name property no property name uh, which uh, which means that uh, if a query engine encounters a query where uh, country and that has name is uh, fetched the that query will be executed uh, uh, by using these in index data structures which is much much which is much faster and uh, more optimal from the time standpoint so uh, that's basically it and uh, since we have countries and cities we're gonna create both indexes uh, and just uh, issuing if I run show index uh, info uh, that will just return which indexes do we have so uh, in this table uh, two label two labels country and city have index have uh, and properties name and name have uh, indexes so uh, that's mm, that's it for now, and I'm gonna I have to go to the to the web because these are just opened here. Uh, I'm gonna just save these files. Uh, these are countries. These are cities. Uh, and these are uh, roads. So this is a bit bigger file. Uh, so okay uh, let's close this we don't need this anymore so mm, t -t 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 -t. okay uh, we are now in the in the console now but uh, yeah we can do we can do importing by uh, running cat and then downloads uh, countries and then just piping that to mg console uh, uh, and Maybe a bit easier is to validate this inside the lab. Uh, so yeah, so 30, 39 nodes. These are the countries that we have in the data set. And uh, let's go back here. Get again the same download cities. Uh, MG console. So if I go back to lab, uh, there are now also the cities, so cities, there, there, are nine and nine uh, cities in the in the data set, and uh, the the last one is downloads roads. Ng console. Uh, that will take a bit longer because uh, there are I think uh, sixty five k uh, roads uh, available, so. It will take like a couple of seconds, so uh, and we can go back to lab, and yeah, all are imported here. Yeah, it it's fine. Uh, so maybe just to showcase quickly the schema, if we generate the schema, uh, we can see that the cities between themselves have 
roads and the city is inside the country mm. uh, that's great uh, and yeah uh, so here in the in the post we have a couple of uh, basic queries let's say let's just validate this one in the lab so so yeah countries are here uh, basically all European countries listed here maybe not all but most of them at least so uh, yeah let's issue this query so this is a slightly mm, I mean this more interesting query because it has a variable length expand so uh, this query effectively says uh, match me all paths uh, starting from city name Paris and uh, traverse all the roads and uh, this uh, star means it in arbitrary length so it doesn't matter how many hops do you have do you have to pass and the BFS means the order of exec execution so breadth first search so first uh, go uh, first visit all the nodes on the layer one and then on the hop one and then on the hop two, and then and then and then three, and, and etc. And um, since we want, uh, since maybe a bit more, uh, more, and then yeah, uh, you we are going from Paris to Berlin, so uh, maybe a bit more, uh, better, better example is the whole path. So in order to come from Paris to Berlin, it's uh, fastest to go through Hertogenbosch and uh, Bielefeld, uh, if I spell that <laughs> spell that correctly. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's that's a very uh, expected graph query. I, I would say uh, that you can uh, execute. Of course, you can do m more advanced stuff. Uh, I'll quickly join dismiss that uh, yeah this is slightly different example and yeah uh, let's let's run this just for the sake of completeness so uh, so this query says uh, give me all these uh, parts that are uh, where the length is less than uh, 200 so a uh, length of the road so uh, this this part here is going to filter uh, all edges that are that have uh, length or or all the roads that have length higher than uh, 200 uh, so if we issue this uh, since we got all the nodes it's a list so uh, if we want to go that route, it's going to be. Oh, I have to. I have to run this. So since we want only super short roads, uh, then we have plenty more uh, uh, cities to to visit on our path. Uh, yeah, that's. That's I would say it. I uh, yeah. You, if you if you want to check more, there are more examples here. But yeah, uh, I think you, you can now run by yourself some of these examples and uh, explore a bit. Uh, so that's that's about it. Uh, what else? Uh, let's. Ah, uh, I was on the documentation, but yeah, uh, I'll close this. And uh, yeah, in uh, MG client is let's go back to the querying. So uh, and I'm gonna switch now to Python uh, mostly. Uh, so MG client is uh, is implemented in C C plus plus, but that's efficient but uh, relatively hard hard to use and time consuming. Uh, so there is also a, another client in written in Python. Uh, which is called PyMG client, and uh, 
you can use this client to query the database instance. So uh, actually, uh, uh, initially I'm going to just compile a PyMG client from source again, but then I'm, I'm going to use it uh, later and install it regularly through pip. Uh, so let's minimize this and uh, go back here. So if I open another window, uh, I should have I should have copied this, but fine. So git clone. So now we have PyMG client. So in order to compile a Python uh, client, there is all, there also has to be MG client because all these uh, clients are based on on the on the C on the C client, which is mainly because of uh, code reusability and not copying the the entire logic, uh, the entire client logic everywhere. So uh, let's open a readme file. So here. <laughs> Uh, we also need uh, we also need Pyth we need Python 3.5 or newer. Uh, we need uh, C compiler as well and MG clients and uh, also uh, here are uh, some of the we also need MG client uh, which is a bit older, uh, but uh, actually actually uh, this is a bit out of date because we should have updated this. And I might do that here now, um, but let's let's me at first uh, finish the compile and then we can go back. Uh, but uh, yeah, the problem is that I have to go since we recently added uh, the new PyMG client uh, and up port them port it to the uh, latest MG client. I have to go back. Uh, in time a bit and uh, and just use this version uh, instead uh, PyMG client so uh, git again git checkout or git co it's, is my alias so here we have the the right version of mg client and uh, and yeah this is uh, this is now good so I just have to run Python setup build, uh, and I'm gonna Python three setup uh, build. So uh, yeah, so by doing this, I've I've actually let's expand this a bit. Uh, I've actually built the Python client uh, locally, and now I'm gonna install it and uh, run some queries. So uh this is fairly simple but i'm gonna i'm gonna use a virtual env to to isolate my dependency so i'm gonna install a uh, python client into virtual env yeah that's a another topic but uh, i won't get, go uh, much into that so basically by uh, starting a virtual environment i will have all dependencies locally so i don't pollute my my system uh too much uh so yeah so mm, virtual environment is now created and it's called ve3 uh so i will I activate that by, that by running bin activate uh Yes, amazing. And now I can run Python 3 setup install. So so that should install a Python client inside my virtual environment. And if I run a pip freeze, I should get um, I should get uh, all the all the dependencies and mg client should be PyMG client should be inside. So great, and let's quickly test that uh, by just running Python. So import client, uh, yeah, import was successful. So so that I don't type stuff. Uh, 
I will go back to I'll go go to the documentation of PyMG client and uh, we have basic uh, module usage. So let's copy this. So this will connect to the to the local instance of member. This will just create the connection. But also since Python client is implementing DB2 pep DB2 API, uh, we have to create this cursor to execute some query. Uh, and yeah, once the curs cursor is created, uh, a query can be executed. So dot execute. Let's say create another node. Now we have now we have a bunch of nodes in the database. So uh, let me quickly drop that. So if we go back here, uh, since yeah, uh, since I've put minus minus rm flag, um, all the data will gone uh, immediately. So I can just start another instance and the data should be the the data inside should be empty. So let's go let's go back quickly here and validate that. So yeah, uh, data inside like the count of nodes and edges is, is zero, which is as expected. And now we can go back to the client and create some some stuff here. So whoop, wrong. Ah, uh, maybe because I've I've restarted the database. Maybe I have to connect again. I think that's true. Cursor, cursor. Yep. And uh, I think I also have to commit. Yes, because it's it's a transaction. Uh, by default, the uh, cursor is running a transaction and uh, it's not committed yet. Uh, we can validate. Oh, it is. Uh -huh. Oh, actually, it is. Yeah, that's a default. I, I, I think. So, okay. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, uh, mem mem PyMG client is is working, and uh, we can now build some more advanced stuff uh, with it. Uh, there are also, just to mention before we move on, so there are also other other clients uh, in uh, for Node and uh, Rust and uh, others, others will come in the future, but uh, uh, I'll cover that uh, as well in some future videos. And actually they are not finished yet, so uh, maybe I will do also a live stream of, uh, of finishing that, mm, that code. Uh, that's also that also might be interesting in general uh, that's about that's about the client how to install the client and uh, deal with it uh, now let's let's uh, I'm jumping a lot through the topics I hope it's not it's not too bad uh, any feedback about that <laughs> is also is also fine uh, so what else mm. Uh, maybe I can just quickly showcase the query modules before going uh, back to the to the advanced stuff with Python. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So, uh, okay. Uh, so actually, uh, Memgraph uh, uh, he's here uh, up and running. So. Let's just quickly uh, see what's inside the Docker. So uh, uh, so Memgraph has uh, container has the name Stoic uh, Williamson. So anyway, uh, if we want to, so Memgraph is running running inside the docker container and in order to inspect what's inside we have to 
attach to that uh, running Docker container and uh, and explore. And that's done by uh, running uh, minus it, so it's uh, interactive and tty. Um, let's uh, not go into that now. Uh, and uh, uh, I have to specify uh, why I don't have autocomplete. Uh, I don't know, but this should work. Uh, yep. So I've attached. So I've uh, I've attached uh, to the Stoic Williamson container, and uh, I'm inside the Bash shell uh, as expected. And uh, here we are inside userlib uh, memgraph folder. And uh, the most interesting folders are query modules and Python support at this stage. So if I go uh, here, uh, there are a bunch of uh, examples of uh, a bunch of uh, python based uh, query modules and uh, also uh, if i go step back and then go into python support this is the whole library so the whole uh, let's say set of functions that uh, are useful when you want to get fetch data from memgraph and transform them into python uh, python native let's say objects uh, and we can quickly go back to the documentation. Uh, actually, I, I'm closing. So uh, let's go back here a bit. And uh, this is fairly new, so I'm also uh, I also have to figure out where the stuff stuff are. Uh, so I have reference there. There is a reference guide, the reference guide, and query modules. Uh, query modules, query modules. So. Um, so, in essence, uh, we Memgraph supports running uh, query modules as a as a dynamically loaded uh, SO files, and also Python Python files, which can be interpreted inside Memgraph. Mm, in order to to call that, uh, these files have to be uh, placed inside. Uh, query modules directory, uh, the flag that I mentioned before, and uh, once they are they are there, Memgraph will on the startup Memgraph will try to load them and uh, and uh, prepare them for execution. Uh, but uh, once Memgraph is up and running, you can check what is available by, by running these queries. So uh, call mg procedures will return all the procedures, and uh, you can also. Uh, uh, reload stuff. I think this is a bit out of date as well. <laughs> okay, I have to I have to wrote all this stuff to update. Maybe at the end of the the, the, the stream I will take some time and uh, update all that uh, immediately. So, uh, think docs docs and the Python was a bit out of dated. So. <laughs> Good. Um, if we run, if we run uh, this, uh, so uh, since these are these are procedures, uh, there is a custom clause uh, to call them. So you have to add call, and then you can run a procedure. Uh, MG module is a native module built in that it's a utility module to uh, to access and uh, basically do standard stuff uh, listing and reloading uh, that's only supported at this point and uh, there is also uh, yield yield which is uh, which is similar to return but it in these modules have a custom syntax uh, because the, the, that's how the standard says uh, the cipher standard says that uh, they should uh, have and uh, if we issue this query uh, we have a bunch of them actually yes so we here we have mg load and here we have reload and all yep that has to be changed yep that's fine okay uh, so we have a bunch of this uh, uh, this uh, 
procedures um, and modules. The example is just a basic example. I, I will go through that example a bit later, but uh, just to go through this list. So analyze a graph is a is a basic module that analyzes analyzes the graphs, gives you the basic uh, basic. Actually, maybe we have that somewhere here. Yeah, uh, insights about the graph and uh, details about functionalities. Uh, okay, and uh, then we have also since Memgraph is is supporting P Python, uh, it's uh, very easy to plug uh, to use existing uh, libraries from the Python ecosystem. For example, Network X is a, a very convenient. Uh, X is a convenient uh, library uh, for uh, dealing with, uh, with with graphs and uh, running graph algorithms. Uh, so yeah, maybe we can explore this a bit. But yeah, it has a bunch of uh, bunch of uh, algorithms available, and basically all these algorithms can be. Um, I mean, data can be fetched from MGraph, and then these algorithms could be used to analyze analyze the data out of the box. Uh, and some of them are exposed directly dire directly through Enix Algo module inside Memgraph. Okay, uh, let's go back to the terminal. And here uh, we have uh, we have this Py example uh, module, which is super simple example example ex exemplary module. I will try to uh, do some stuff with with, with that module, uh, but let me first create a bit, a little bit of more of some, uh, one more uh, window. So uh, code I've also prepared. So since I'm planning to to do these videos uh, frequently and often, uh, I'll have all the code attached. Uh, in a in a in a repository, so I've just today created that repository. Mm, so I'll quickly quickly clone this and cd into it. Uh, yeah. Uh, still no questions. Please, please, people, ask something. Uh, <laughs> uh, live stream. Uh, okay. Uh, do I do a new other branch? Not sure. Uh, yeah, let's do. Sixteen, I believe. Yeah, it's sixteen. Uh, yes. And uh, I also. So I will. I'll just create a branch which is not required, but uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, let's create it and uh, also a folder inside this uh, where I'll do the code. Uh, so that's fine. Mm. Uh, what else uh, do I want to do uh, this at this stage? Uh, basically, that's it. So uh, uh, vim test .py, uh for now, yeah, and maybe not test, maybe example, rather than test. Doesn't really matter, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna create also code live stream. Okay, and. Uh, yeah, uh, let's 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 here create another folder which is called modules. Great, uh, and this we can save this. Okay, um, and now let's go back to Memgraph. So memgraph and cat by example so here we'll just take that example and try to use this that instead of uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's a bit stupid, but okay. Let's take this, yeah, and uh, then let's say app. Okay, uh, now we have now we have that, uh, but we also want to do example dot by. Okay. Great. So we have here the the example module in written in Python. Mm. Let's explain. Let's explain uh, some of these basic elements here. Uh, okay. So uh, by importing MGP. Uh, we are just importing these uh, utility library functions from the from this folder that I explained in the previously. So uh, so here there is a Python support, and inside is a memgraph Python file. So we are just importing that module. Uh, uh, ls maybe I can print Python support. So this uh, this is the file here that has all these uh, functions inside. Uh, ah, I, I just saw a question. Do you need a CS? So the, the question is, do I need a CS degree to contribute to these open source projects? Uh, no, absolutely not. Uh, so yeah, what is the, do I answer to this que to these uh, questions? Uh, in the chat or or i just say it so uh i'll yeah since we have time i'll <laughs> just put the put the answer in the chat uh, uh uh just i'll i'll be back <laughs> uh no not at all uh, so you don't need that computer science degree because I think uh, computer science, yeah, computer science refers to that. Uh, you don't need a, a degree because it's uh, this this stuff is is all. I mean, you can learn a bunch of stuff without science computer science degree. So a, bu a bunch of stuff about any. Uh, um, in general, you can learn a bunch of stuff without a degree. So I think uh, it's not a requirement. Okay. Uh, Uh, okay. Uh, uh, what else? Okay. Uh, I put the answer, but I think it's going. Yeah, it's easier to to just say uh, than typing there because, yeah, uh, it takes some time. So, okay. Uh, where were we? Uh, uh, okay. I think I know. Uh, let's go back to the app window. So basically, this is a, an example module, but it also has a, a, a more stuff attached. So I'll make a more simple, I mean, simpler example than this one. Uh, and uh, let me just quickly do that. So we don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. Uh, that's fine. We'll also uh, remove the documentation for now. Uh, and yeah, uh, we not need, need all of this for now. And also copy is a bit redundant. So a procedure. Mm. OK, and then uh, let's explain this. So MGP has a read procedure uh, decorator that uh, tells uh, to the to the interpreter that, I mean that tells that this uh, function here is a procedure and uh, it will be listed in the list of procedures and can be executed and uh, context is just an object that uh, uh, where the whole graph is stored uh, and you can access to the whole graph inside inside memgraph and then uh, you you have the arguments which are uh, uh, which can be can be passed 
uh, and let's change this to node uh, let's say uh, because my idea is to just create a basic uh, uh, basic module that will uh, get a node and then return a node that's the simplest operation I think uh, and simplest composable operation that you can you can have and then everything else else uh, is very it can be uh, extended uh, on that so uh, okay let's call one that uh, argument node and uh, and uh, let's I mean, since we have since we use Python three point five for this, we also have typing typings, so uh, we can do uh, we can do typing. So uh, let's create here. Okay, let's say that. Let's say ah ah sorry. Uh, I, this is a new keyboard, so uh, I have some struggles. So node we let's say let's make that uh, nullable and uh, we can do the node let's say that this is a node uh, and okay mm, we don't need this and uh, we just have to return uh, why is that why this doesn't work okay uh, node equals node. This should return the the node that is received in as as a function call. Okay. Uh, okay. Great. Uh, so let's now load that. So if I go back to the memgraph terminal, uh, I don't see this module because it's inside completely different di directory at this point. Uh, I have to say to memgraph that I have module somewhere else. So I'll here, I'll here restart memgraph and uh, specifying. So let's go back here and just ls. Uh, the modules mm. okay uh, I, I'm just copying that uh, folder uh, so we can specify this here Query modules directory is the is the right name for the flag uh, and uh, yeah, we also have to do one more thing. So uh, before specifying the uh, query modules directory, since we are running Docker, it means that whatever we specify here, it will refer to files and folders inside the Docker container. But uh, our our main folder is on the host. So I have to mount that folder inside Docker in order to to be to be visible uh, from the memgraph perspective, and uh, I, I I'm doing that by the minus v volume flag in Docker, and uh, here I'm I I I have to spec I I'm pasting the host folder, uh, which is that uh, folder on my on my on my uh, file system, and uh, we're gonna uh, mount that uh, into Query. Huh. So. Uh, my keyboard is a bit. Uh... Mm -hmm. It's probably not about the keyboard. It's about copying here. Okay, um, query modules and query modules is the is the folder inside the Docker container that uh, where the these modules will be, uh, and uh, after that's mounted, we just call memgraph and and also query modules. Directory and uh, now we are specifying the last uh, 
the second uh, part. So just query modules. So this is this is this one. So we are just uh, referring to that folder inside the container. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, uh, aha. And uh, now Memgraph uh, lo uh, started, uh, uh, but the problem is okay. SVP is my my Vim file, which is not uh, a node query module type, so it, it that's just ignored. But the problem here is that Memgraph did not MGP has no attribute node. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, maybe that's not node. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. now I'm here. Uh -huh. Yeah, I should have done that. Okay, and uh, we have another uh, container. Uh, another container name. So we'll just early on. Okay, I'm just uh, searching for the MGP just to be sure, since I'm not sure about this attribute. So, Python support, cut MG, MGP. Uh, uh, so this is, let's go back. I'm looking uh, what the, uh -huh. okay. Uh, so class vertex, so it's not node, it's a vertex. Uh, probably, uh, uh, yeah, anyway, so here, yeah, it's a vertex. So it has here a bunch of these, uh, entities and, uh, and, uh, yeah. Mm, so if, if you have uh, any issues with, uh, with the actual implementation, uh, like you can quickly check here and figure out uh, how, what are the exact uh, types and uh, the exact uh, implementation uh, when it comes to, to these, uh, like to transforming uh, uh, Memgraph data into uh, Python data and Python data types. So, okay, let's go back to, to this and uh, just quickly fix this. So, uh, vertex. Uh, I think that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's leave it uh, as a note for now. So uh, that should be it. Uh, okay, uh, let's go back to the lab now. So uh, since I've completely changed the query modules di directory, uh, this call here, yeah, should should return. Uh, just these utilities modules inside Memgraph, nothing else, and that's fine. But now I want to load all other, all other. I want to I want to reload the modules, uh, and that will reload. And that will re that will hopefully reload my module from the from the directory. Uh, okay, that that return nothing but yes okay uh now i have i've loaded that example procedure uh and here you can also see the signature so uh the procedure gets optionally a node and uh it returns uh, the list of any's but yeah it doesn't really matter now uh, it will return the node from the from the from the database uh if i go back here uh yeah i have uh, I have uh, nothing in the database, so do I maybe have some quick, no, uh, okay, anyway, create and, so just to quickly create some, some, some nodes, I'll do this, so and this will just create three nodes in the database without any label and uh, without any property, uh, so we should have three nodes now, and that's, that's fine. And then run again, so not again. So we have to run the actual module example dot 
procedure it eh, yeah it gets the node uh, so how do we get the node here uh, just by running the sim the regular match uh, match query so if we do here n that n can be used also here can be passed here as as an argument and then uh, that will be returned returned uh, yield star uh aha uh -huh. so okay uh i have to i have to return something from the query but i think uh, let's take the node out of the whole thing because we because we call the we call that uh rec that item a node and we can take that out of the all, all the whole list of list of results and just return everything we take uh, uh so the correct field type set field node with value unable to inspect uh, this is something strange Insert no uh, 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 uh. Mm. The correct field type. Actually, this is unexpected. Uh, uh, node with value. Did I do something wrong here? Uh, not explicit node. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think this is correct, but I might be wrong. Uh, value error. Uh, I think I did set the correct field type. Uh, let me just go back to the example. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, so this is where am I going? Okay, file. Uh, uh -huh. ah, sorry, 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 sorry. So uh, this here. Okay. Uh, by example, Argus list int number. Uh -huh. This is actually setting. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, this is actually setting the. Uh, setting the type of not the actual did I do that there think no yeah uh, just a moment so just to check this list average degree entropy vertex uh, Ah, uh, MGP vertex. I think I need MGP vertex there. So here, instead of a list, I need MGP dot vertex. Uh, I think that's that's the that the that's the wrong thing. So yeah, let's uh, go back to the lab and then I have since I uh, since I changed something, I have to reload. Uh, the query, uh, which is fine, uh, and now I have to run again. Uh, uh -huh. Since the query failed, we don't have that here. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, uh, call example procedure. Um, And okay, Oop. again the same mode with value or vertex. This time, I think I did. Ah, ah. 
Okay. Uh, this time I think I really got it. <laughs> uh, let's do. Let this time copy this. Uh, let's be a bit smarter. So load all. Yep, and then. And then do this. Yes, finally. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Uh, copy pasta error <laughs> errors happen and then uh, you're looking at it so yeah uh, but it works now so uh, it returned uh, it returned so this query uh, has the has matched all the nodes and then uh, call procedure and that procedure also returns the same node so I'm I'm yielding here node I'm I'm creating a symbol on the a symbol where these nodes that where these returns returned nodes will be stored and then by star I'm saying that all these uh, symbols so in this case no n and node will be returned and uh, uh, yeah this in the lab you can see zero zero these are node IDs and uh, uh, both are the same. So I have the same nodes returned uh, out of the whole thing. So I actually here, I think lab is also deduplicating these nodes. So uh, they are showed only once, but uh, still, yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, okay, that's uh, the simplest one. Uh, the time th the time passed really fast. So, um, okay, I wanted to show an example of how to import data, but that might take a, a bunch of time as well. So, are you guys ready for more? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> mm. So my idea is now to uh, quickly uh, find some data set on the internet and import it through the Python code. Uh, so mm, let's do that. Uh, any, 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 I'm, I'm accepting any feedback uh, or any, any, uh, actually any suggestion about the actual data set I would like to I would have to I would it should be good to import we are okay uh, great content yeah thank you <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, let's go try to find some nice data set uh, graph data set uh, so I was searching a bit uh, today uh, and uh, yeah there are a bunch of data sets on the internet but the, the problem is that uh, these are mainly uh, data sets with uh, just connectivity so just uh, source and uh, end nodes and edges between these nodes without any data attached really Bas mainly for some benchmarks and doing stuff like that so not really good insights inside so uh, snap is uh, is i mean these are all great data sets uh, just to be to be fair uh, but uh, mainly mainly these connectivities are inside uh, i also searched a bit and this seem this network repository seems uh, really good uh, i mean nice and shiny has a bunch of stuff inside uh, but also a bunch of different connectivities and a bunch of connectivities data only um maybe you, we can maybe the most representative are social networks uh mm, so let take something here but just to showcase uh, i don't know if you guys have some uh, some suggestions about the actual data set feel free to write uh, but uh, this one here if i download uh, i think it has only uh, yeah so here only data is about the connectivity and uh, nodes oh actually oh actually there is something here uh, interesting 
Ah, but that's uh, ID name and some ID. Yeah, it doesn't say doesn't say much in general. But yeah, I might use this to import. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's go back. Uh, so that's an option. Actually, I I opened a bunch of these data sets and everything was without any actual data but this one has something which is great uh let's leave it like this and drop data set uh i was uh what i saw was uh where is that now mm. Uh, there was a GitHub repository uh, with something interesting. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, this one here. Uh, uh actors and movies so the question is maybe try let's try something correlated with actors and movies uh why not uh uh yeah maybe this one has something so uh it has it has a bunch of uh a bunch of stuff here uh these are facebook uh but also twitch maybe that's related to that's i mean not, not actors but uh twitch gamers so uh yeah uh yeah if you could write uh do you have so do Okay, um, maybe I can search for that a bit. This is this is interesting, and uh, movie data set. Uh, I know there was a data set movie. Yeah, movie lens is a uh, movie lens is a data set which is pretty uh, known, I think. Uh, so let's try to we can import that if that's fine that's related to uh let's do small stuff first and then we can expand uh, i'll open these uh, uh -huh. links movies yeah it has a bunch of stuff here uh, i think i'm gonna with, go with this so Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can I download this or no? Be able to download this. Why not? Doesn't work or did it download? Nope. Uh, uh -huh. super strange I can't download that mm, no idea it is going on but, but okay uh Actually, here I'll win. Uh -huh. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know why uh, the download didn't work on, on a click, but who cares? Let's open, the, let's open that. 
what? Ah, uh -huh. uh, I've made a mistake by doing this, but okay. Uh, most. Uh, I hope. I hope to the to the comment. Uh, so uh, maybe that's a good. I, I hope this is a good data set, I think it is, so uh, I'll just open to see what's inside. I think I saw that before, but let's quickly ch check. So, movies? Uh, ah, no, 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 no. Uh, no no LibreOffice. Uh, ah, okay, sorry. So, mm, so we let's say me we movies. Okay, uh, here we have movie ID title genre, which is amazing. Uh, movies, okay. Links, yeah, amazing. Uh, that's also good. Ratings, yeah. User D movie ID rating la la okay that's amazing and tags what are the tags user ID movie ID tag uh -huh. okay uh let's try to import this so uh I think that this is fine so I'm gonna quickly close this um great so this is unrelated this is not important so let's go back to our setup uh uh example okay uh and we're gonna download this this stuff here let's do this properly so i'm done i don't save anything into the repository so i'll do i'll do basic bash script that downloads data and uh yeah mm. uh, uh get mm. where is that uh where is my link here what time do okay Okay, uh, that will download the data set and then and then we ignore that and then we have to unzip that. So ML ML small zip. Okay. Mm. So here uh okay. Great. So I'll uh, just enable execution of this setup. This should this should uh, download yes and uh, amazing. So we have the zip, we have the file. Uh, since they were both created by the script, I'm gonna ignore that in the git ignore. I don't know. Sorry. Uh, five. Uh, git ignore folder is here, file is here. Uh, so ml latest small and ml latest zip. So I'm just doing now uh, the code related to dealing with that data set, uh, nothing, uh, nothing really important from the uh, functionality standpoint, but okay. Uh, since again keyboard issues but uh, fine that's all fine and uh, okay uh, example pipe so we back to the game uh, now we have the data set uh, and it's visible here so, um, now we have to since we are in python we have to install pymg client because uh, we have to take uh, and read the date the csv files and then uh, create uh, nodes and edges in the database uh, so uh, 
again a bit of infrastructural work first and then we're ready to go uh, so again uh, we have to and minus p is is python 3 v3 but it will create a virtual environment uh, for the python dependencies and and then we activate it uh, activate so you have there is a v3 in the in the corner so we good to go uh, this time i'll just install pip uh, pip from uh, from the pip repository from uh, from the pip repository so it's not uh, compiled uh, locally even though it, it would work uh, locally as well but uh, pip3 since but this is only working at this point uh, this is only work, working on on linux uh, because uh, it has mg client which is 1.1.0 which is only uh, available on linux at this point but uh, it will work on L all platforms because mg client is already working we just have to update uh, all that and publish it publish it so pip3 install uh, py mg client uh Yep, uh, great. And just to verify that, Python in port mg pull. Yep, it works. Okay, great. Uh, let's go out. Uh, okay, uh, now we're ready to go with this. Uh, the freeze will tell all the dependencies so mg client should be inside and all other others should be also uh, okay uh, let's just take the one the first one to to import so this is movies let's first import the movies so movie id and uh, how many of these do we have nine thousand that's fine uh, so uh let's try to import that first uh mg client uh i think this he might nah. this will complain but uh okay that's fine um uh, Mm -hmm. ah, we have CSV files, so open. I have to open that file and then read the CSV content. So let's do just a hard coded part uh, for now. Latest small, uh, and we just want to read that file as F. Uh, okay, uh, let me just quickly refresh myself about the CSV import. We don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this. We'll need this uh, probably, so uh, Python CSV import. Uh, okay. We have we are using version three point eight, so I'll take I'll read documentation about that. I need the dict import uh, dict reader. Yeah, this one. Uh, so reader, 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 reader. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we just have file and we read that file and uh, why do i don't have auto auto indent mm, let's ignore that for now uh, that won't work let me just quickly close this and reopen that Yeah, okay, something is broken, but all good. Um, uh, 
Ok. So uh, import. I have to import CSV to to have that module available. And uh, I think we now good. MG client is still unused, but uh, okay. Let's delete delete it for now. Uh, Okay, uh, example, uh -huh. python example.py should print all the rows from, uh -huh. no, 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 I have to be a bit more careful, uh, slash movies.csv, I think, is the name of that, yes, so mg latest movies, la la la, uh, that's fine. Okay, great. So we have all all the movies imported, and uh, let's just take uh, to start with. Uh, let's just take IDs and titles and uh, store that in the database. So now we have MG client. I mean, I'm gonna hack a bit here. So. Uh, it can it can be nicely abstract, but we don't need this here. It's just uh, to showcase how to do all these things. But uh, client, uh, so that's good. And now I can just so <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go back a bit here, and then. We need to make the connection and the cursor. And uh, uh, let's take this line here. Oh, I'm constantly having I, I'm constantly having battles with the lab, uh, but that's fine. So here I make the make the connection, uh, and uh, and yeah. So uh, and also I need one cursor. I think. cursor and also uh, so let's explore this a bit uh, by default it's not the connection is and the cursor is not auto commit uh, but that's important because we we want all these queries to be uh, persisted in the database uh, where is that connection I think on yeah. so connection class has auto commit uh, attribute mm. every transaction set has immediate effect uh, and yeah we need this so after each query we need we want that query to be automatically uh, persisted in the database so I'm gonna I'm gonna set this to true uh, because it's simpler than uh, than not having that set to true Auto equals true. Mm. Okay, and now we create a cursor, and now we can execute stuff. Uh, okay, and uh, here instead of printing, uh, we'll just run e execute. Yeah, and now what we execute? So. Um, uh, we do create, um, let's say, a node with label movie and title, title, s, and uh, top, 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 that. Mm. And here row. Uh -huh. uh, let's do also ID. Uh, so ID plus nine percent D. Okay, uh, and we do row. What do we have? Movie ID. 
ID and also raw uh, title. Uh, yeah, mm, I think that's good enough already. So I'm just I'm just reformat that uh, to be nice and clean. Uh, yeah, and I can also use single quotes instead of double quotes, but uh -huh, I'll have issues here. So uh, let's change this to this and change this also to this. And this is just for to be consistent with everything. Why? Uh, sorry, I didn't uh, set up the keyboard properly, so I have some issues with moving around, but that should be fine. Okay, uh, I think we're good now. Uh, format again, but that's fine. So, uh, now we should have... Boom. Uh, format is required, not string. Aha, uh -huh. I'm reading the string from the from the database from the data set which is fine uh i'll just replace here into string uh yeah no new questions i was a bit confused with this on the side but okay uh, 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 uh. try to execute that invalid query uh Execute. Why is that an invalid query? Mm -hmm. uh, and now, yeah, it would be nice to have a data set, data uh, query output. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I'm running some wrong query against the database, but I can't see uh, the output because we actually don't have that uh we don't actually memory of current doesn't support that but we are adding that feature and it's going to be available in a couple of days super soon to be able to see the actual queries uh that are getting executed so uh yeah i'm gonna figure out somehow so uh aha uh -huh. uh -huh. so since i changed this to a string i can't do that I think no. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, what's wrong? Title movie ID. Uh, if anyone has suggestions, please, please help. <laughs> uh, cursor execute and then this. Uh, let's create movie ID. Uh, can I execute a regular query? Hmm. Let's just create one. Yeah, this works. Uh, I can actually use that. Mm. Uh, aha. Ha, 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 ha. Something is broken with the, ro ro wrong with the database. Actually, yeah, with the data set because. because uh, the query didn't uh, exit it immediately. Maybe some quotes or something. Ah, okay, uh, let's do, let's uh, be smart. So, uh, Mm -hmm. uh, so, 
prior to prior to So prior to importing data, I'm gonna delete uh, all the data inside the database just to be, just have clear state whenever I execute uh, the script again. Uh, turn it in. And uh huh, yeah. So we have. We have some, some, yeah, we have a, a character which breaks our, our quotation, I think. So yeah, this has to be taken care of and has to be escaped. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, for the sake of this, I'm gonna just quit. I'm, I'm just gonna, I, I'm just gonna skip that uh, for now. I think yeah, I will break. Uh, I'll break edges, but yeah, it's fine. Um, so if a query fails, okay. Uh, uh, see, so uh, I'll catch an exception and just just pass. For now, uh, 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 okay. Uh, now we should have uh, the whole uh, data set loaded. I mean, the whole the the movies loaded. Uh, if I go back to the yeah, lab is a bit. Uh, freeze now because uh, a bunch of data is inside the lab so uh, rather than using lab for this because we have a slightly bigger i mean a bit more data inside even though it's a small data set uh, i'll use the console for this because it's a bit easier i think uh, but uh, yeah maybe i can do this in the same window just to so so here i have the console uh and uh, Okay, uh, that's 9741, and how many items do we have? Yeah, uh, so the first line is, uh, so here you can see the number of lines in the file, and the first line is the header, CSV header, and we skipped one, uh, which is broken because of the quotation marks, I think. Um, and that's it. So uh, we up, up, uploaded and uh, loaded. We loaded the the, the movies. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's do something. Something more, <laughs> more, more interesting than just doing these uh, these movies links. So movie ID. That's good. And in a dbid and dmdb so uh, ratings uh, there is a rating between user and movie uh -huh. and then i have to i have to create users and where do i have users uh, user id movie id rating yeah that's fine but uh, where do i have Tag user ID. Uh huh. Uh, ratings, movies. Mm. Links. Mm, no, this these are just the links. I think I will just create a move users on the fly. So if I don't have a user, I'll create one. And movie I obviously have, and I have a timestamp, uh, a rating and timestamp. So uh, I'll just 
I'll just read this and create users on the fly. Uh, how big that is? 100k, yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, let's do that. Uh, so, mm, since I have imported movies, I'll now open ratings. ML latest uh, small CSV uh, RSS uh, uh, okay, uh, that's So a row reader and yeah, I'm going to need a set uh, just to just to have. Yeah, on the Python side, I'll keep track of the IDs. So uh, user IDs. So. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, let me just uh, ratings user ID so if raw user ID in if this is this is already there mm, no mm, I need I need different type if not if I don't have that user I have to cursor execute uh, create user and id id that uh yeah that's fine yep i'm gonna create that user but um uh, i also need uh, to fetch all the users and movies, I will create an index for that. So execute uh, create in index on. So I uh, have movie ID and I also have uh user id so this is all good and uh da, 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 da. okay if not in create me that create me that user and in any case uh user ids dot insert i think python set has insert method uh, insert raw user id so that i have that user uh, available and then i'll just create users whenever there is not a user id in the set so which is fine um, and then that's good uh, and then we need regular stuff so uh, Cursor, I mean regular. Execute match and find me a movie where ID 
ID equals to ID equals to something and also find me a user maybe this this a bit more intuitive a user user ID post okay um okay mm. create uh create me an edge between m uh -huh. m i have to take care of the relation of the direction mm. uh rating rating a uh, score i think was there and F yes that's fine and then close this user yeah this is not good obviously because mm, uh, movie has to be users ah sorry uh user rating user score that <laughs> user you rate uh -huh. maybe it's makes a bit more sense to rate rating yeah i'm not sure but just about the naming so uh maybe here rating rate yeah maybe that, like that okay and uh, i believe that's it uh okay close that and open this and raw user id raw movie id and the uh, rating okay mm, yep this is a bit this is a bit verbose now but fine so i believe that's correct user id movie id rating let's check that one more time is already movie idea rating boom okay uh, okay let's try to execute that and we'll see boom okay set doesn't have yeah add yeah of course i i'm always i'm always I always forget that so okay so must be real number not string mm. uh -huh. i'm missing the quotes Uh -huh. maybe user that's that no that's not about that so rating uh, 
not string. Aha, we have again string in the data. Aha. So rating. Aha. Yeah, I think here I have to re convert that into float. So uh, rather than doing this. I'll uh, just do dirty like this. So I think we are now filling in the database. So yeah, we are adding, we are adding, uh, oh yeah. So we have, I don't know, uh, like thousand users now and ratings. So. Uh, member of lab let's go back to member of lab it's gonna be easier uh, i think uh, uh oh uh, uh why do we have uh -huh. maybe that's wrong a bit because of the lab yeah of lab it didn't refresh but why we don't have movie ID user ID create <laughs> okay let's explore a bit match n turn n so we have we have movie ID one which is okay Why we didn't create any H uh, movie ID? Ah, but uh, it should it should create at least something. So I swapped uh, the order of this. Pulling data in. Uh, okay, but let's count edges. Zero. Ha! Uh, why is that a problem? Uh, movie ID, I have indexes. Uh, User ID is here. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh -huh. Movies are added, so there shouldn't be there shouldn't be any problem with that. Uh, That's fine, but why I don't M F to move this a bit to see a bit better. Uh, create user rate. Uh, let's do a quick hack. So instead of executing this, I'll just store that query equals this. We know don't need all these parentheses. Yeah, we need one more here. Okay. Print query.
Python likes to be likes to be formatted. Ah. Uh, maybe I can use these format strings before be, instead of this because it's easier. Uh, la 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 la. la. Am I using using? What is that called? Uh, let's do let's do this. That's gonna be a bit easier, I think. String format. Yeah. I do this, and then I can use name. Uh, expression to lowercase uh, okay I think I can just use I can use just use expression here so uh, instead of doing this I'll just do user create uh, okay and uh, will that work? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure actually. Okay, because I don't have a variable here. Number la la la. I'm not curious about the speed. Uh. Yes, obviously, I understand that. Just as Answer will that will that work if I do this? Uh, let's quickly test that. So mm. wait, first let's say test equals. Uh, That won't work, that won't work for sure. Why? Ah, fuck. No, no, no. Okay, uh, and let's edit. So I'm not sure how to format this uh, properly. Yeah, that's that's fine. Amazing. So, okay, great. Uh, sorry about about the delay.
I think I'm gonna just here use and okay if I use here this character oh no to escape this I I assume uh this 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 yeah okay good that will work okay great uh ID okay mm. Uh, I'll escape this, escape this, and then uh, just put here, here raw uh -huh. and what about what about these? Uh, do I have to escape this as well? So um, Okay, this is a bit strange. <laughs> no, uh, that won't work because of my parentheses here. <laughs> okay. Mm. No, no, no. Let's go back to the to the original idea because I know how to work with this. Okay, let's not complex uh, with this. Let's try th just to find the nodes by setting the query. Let's say putting the putting the putting the node putting the rating on a movie. Let's say. Uh, Say ID ID something uh, ID something and then okay mm, setting that and then set rating percent this okay and then okay uh, now I have I have to pass the movie the raw movie movie ID and raw rating just to have that for the first instance and then print query and break okay uh that's fine so movie id1 rating four okay that's good so if i run that query cursor dot execute mm. Okay, uh, movie ID one should have the rating. Uh, movie ID one should have the rating. It has. Okay, and then why I don't can, why I can't, uh, why I can't find another. Okay, uh, maybe we don't have users in the. Ah. <gasps> ah. Why did that pass? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh interesting bug. So, a user 
raw user ID. So I forgot to add a user ID. So yeah, now I have a user with ID one, which is great. And now the query will work. So let's go back to the, to the, uh, match a user with ID. Okay, and then create. So, a uh, user rate rating, which is a float and movie. Okay, and that's and that's it. Now we delete the rest here. Um. Uh, Okay. Row first is a user. Row, which is a user ID. And then movie ID. So user ID, movie ID. How I did the same mistake again. Uh, movie ID. Yeah, I should have used these format strings, but yeah, I'm not uh, very skillful with them. So uh, let's bear with me for now. Uh, user ID. So movie ID, user ID, and then create user rate movie. And rating is the third one. And we just have to finish. We just have to close. the. Per ah, this is the query and execute the query and then break. So it actually don't need this anymore. Ah. Okay. Uh, now. Okay. We again have the same issue here. Uh, Volt. That's fine. A single relationship type. Uh, uh -huh. So we have a bug in the query. Uh, rate. So we have to add dots here just to symbolize the, I mean, to specify the H type. And if I run here, if I run a query here, Uh, now that should create that should create all the stuff. So if we go back to lab, yeah. So now we are importing nodes and edges. So yeah. Okay. Uh, done. So uh, we imported the whole thing. Uh, hooray! Uh, I mean the whole thing. At least uh, the most important stuff. So uh graph schema uh if we run this we have a user rate a movie and uh we can run i don't know basic stuff so uh match n r and i'll put some limit any uh, and rm so here we have a bunch of uh, since uh, we just took uh, since the movies are ratings are uh, together we have all of them uh, together but yeah it's fine so each uh, each edge has a rating five so that's uh, that's correct and maybe uh, i can just run the simple query module which is graph analyzer for the it took this took a bit longer than expected so 
I think uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna just run the graph analyzer module, and uh, I think that's more or less it for today. Um, let's do that, but I have to reload memgraph because uh, because we changed the module uh, directory. So uh, I'll go back to standard modules for now. Uh, Uh, yep, I should have that, and I will redo the import. Uh, uh, by running this example again. Uh, that's completely fine. It will import a bunch of data inside, and uh, let me go back to the documentation. Uh, we have that graph analyzer module. Uh, let me quickly find. No tutorials. Get started. No, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, set menu. La, la, la. Uh, yeah, documentation is a bit uh, reordered, so I having clauses, reading and writing. No query modules. Uh, Yeah, but anyway, uh, I will figure out from here. Uh, so, uh, call ng procedures. Analyze. Uh, analyzes. So, I'll just run this. So, call. analyzer analyze and then yield yield everything so this will take up that that will take a bit longer I think because uh, uh, the analyzer module is implemented in the in, by using network X and uh, it uh, takes some time to to run the analysis and I, I've never run the analysis on this data set so I actually don't know some of the some of the analysis might be expensive so we'll wait a bit I th hope that's gonna finish uh, let me quickly check what is going on in the yeah uh, memgraph is doing something so it's fine uh, Analyzer, do I can I maybe read? Yeah, that might not end up soon enough. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna quit this because obviously uh, some. So the graph analyzer has some advanced uh, graph uh, analytics inside, and uh, that might be slow. It depends on the graph structure. So uh, since I've never run this, so I'll quit because I don't know how long that will take to. To execute uh, I'll take I'll take that I'll analyze that a bit later so okay uh, okay mm. but yeah uh, that's basically it so let's move here mm. let's move here and let's uh, commit this because I think we're good uh, with all this for today, uh, but yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that a bit later and uh, commit this and uh, update. So I'll leave the link to to the, to this example uh, in the in the comments comments. Uh, and yeah, uh, let's finish here. Uh, 
uh, I will I will go back here. Yeah. So uh, I think that's it for today. It was uh, a bit longer than I expected. Uh, and I didn't cover uh, a bunch of stuff on the algorithms, but uh, yeah, I did the basic uh, basic queries and the uh, basic importing uh, uh, of data. Uh, thank you very much, very much for watching. I hope uh, it was it was okay. Uh, my plan for the next, uh, I probably next week, uh, next Saturday, my plan is to is to do uh, a bit more advanced stuff with uh, query modules and uh, algorithms. And run some uh, some more advanced algorithms on this dataset. I think I'm gonna take this 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 dataset and then run algorithms like PageRank and uh, running that in Python and C and uh, uh, showing different trade-offs uh, that uh, that are going on. So so yeah, uh, please uh, put your comments. Uh huh. Uh, so oh no, this is comment from before. Okay. So uh, maybe uh, if you have some ideas about the uh, algorithms or about the type of queries that you would like to uh, to to see, please uh, let me know. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, so please uh, subscribe and uh, yeah, uh, see you see you next week. Bye bye.